Yes, um, I'm sorry. If I can just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I can just, re I'm sorry. If I might be able to please repeat myself. My name is Cheryl Uzamere. I'm a private, right. I'm a private citizen. Mr. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. May I see, please finish. May I finish, please, ma'am? Yeah, I'm not talking. I'm listening. Thank you. My name is Cheryl Uzamir. I'm a private citizen. Mr. James Polite does not know me. However, I'm working on his case. He's African American. I'm African American. I believe part of the reason, part of the reason he's being mistreated is because he's black. The other reason I believe that he's being mistreated is because he was raped in foster care. That's what I believe, and I believe that the people who said that they fostered him, Joshua Letsky and Jenny Levinson, I believe they raped him or they subjected him to some form of sexualized torture and that he's jailed not because of what he's claimed to have done, but because he wants to talk and his rights are being violated. What I want to do is see if I can speak with him. He's in the Anna M. Cross building. He is a victim of the foster care system and no one is speaking with him and they have him out as a criminal. I've already filed a complaint with the United Nations Office of the High Commission for Human Rights and filed a complaint on his behalf. That complaint was accepted by the United Nations. It's also uploaded to my website. I just want to make sure that he is all right and perhaps speak with him. He has a right to have visitors and today is Friday visiting day. I would like to know if I can visit with him today. Okay. I'm trying to help you. I I'm need, okay. First, I have to get your number. I have to give it to an attorney when they come in so they can call you back. All right, the I attorney, I already know who the attorney there. is. I already know his, who his attorney is. It's, no, no, I'm not talking about his attorney. I'm talking about DOC attorney. I already know oh, DOC's yeah. attorney. Her name is Heidi Grossman. I'm getting ready to go after her her license, ma'am. No, but, uh, but she's not, she, uh, okay. She if she not, does not allow him, let me explain what situation you are in now, ma'am. I am taping this conversation, not audio taping it, videotaping it. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. I'm asking you again, may I come in and visit him? If I get any other answer other than yes, I will have you fired. Yes. I'm going to transfer you. Someone could help you. Hold on. Thank you. Good morning. This is Catherine. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to visit a, a uh, prisoner there. His name is James Polite. Hello? Yes. Yes. You uh, want to visit the prisoner? I want to speak to her. I would like to uh, visit a prisoner there. His name is James Polite. Um, Anna M. Cross. He's an AMKC. And that's, so, and excuse me, that's the information that I saw on the... Yes, the abbreviation is AMKC, Anna M. Cross.
cross center. Right. It's the abbreviation. That's why I said AKC. All right. That's the way, that's our internal way of um, identifying the facility. Okay, madame, est-ce que moi qu'a pas la vous n'a créé? Est-ce que vous qu'a pas les créoles? Um, I don't speak Spanish, man. No, that's Haitian Creole. I thought you sounded a little Haitian. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not Haitian. <laughs> I'm sorry. So when do you want to visit this inmate? All right. I'd like to see the inmate today. All right. Today's visiting day, I think, for everyone. Today's Friday. Okay. So go ahead and visit the inmate. All right. Would you the, have to have, do you have your, your identification? Yes, I have my driver's, my um, driver's license. Mm -hmm. Right. I have all of that. What, right. what, I, what do you need? Mm -hmm. What do you need? That's all we need. Just proper identification. If you have driver's license, that's proper. Um, so you could just come in and go through the Perry Center. Are you are you driving? No, I'm I'm coming from Brooklyn, New York. Okay, so you could take public transportation at the foot of the bridge. There's a public bus, there's an MTA bus that takes you over the bridge to the Perry Building, to All the right. visit center. All right. And then you go through the visit center, you will be processed, which means you go through the magnometer, you know, just the, just the usual, just like you, you're walking through the, you, you're trying to, you're going through um, TSA at the airport, like if you're traveling. Understood. So you go through there, and then at the visit center, when you go through security, you see different buses, and you will, you will go to the line that says AMKC, and that's the bus that will take you to Anna M. Cross Center. All right. Um... All right. Um, I know that he has a right to privacy. I just want to make sure that he's safe. I've already filed a complaint for um on his behalf with the United Nations, with the United Nations, um, United Nations Office, uh, for the High Commission of Human Rights, and I uploaded that complaint to my website. Um, Mr. Polite. I believe that he was raped in foster care, and I believe the people who claim to have fostered him, I believe that they trafficked him, and they don't want him to speak. And so what they're doing, they're hiding him from the public. They're holding him out to be a criminal, but um, they're hiding him from the public because he is, in fact, a rape victim, and they don't want him to talk. That's what I believe, and this is something wow. that happens to a lot of black children that are put in the foster care system. I know what happened to my son. My son, when he was in the foster care system, he was forced to eat feces and he was raped. So now, all right, but this happens on a regular basis to black children that are placed in the foster care and I don't think anyone is properly defending him. I want to make sure he's safe. And the bad thing about it is that the people who are at the very bottom within the, the Department of Corrections food chain that are enforcing this are other blacks. Yeah, they're other blacks. Um, in any case, what stop do I have to get off on the whatever train in order to get there? Um, let me go into our website. I think we have... All right, if it's something I can get on the website, I'm already... Yeah, I'm the New York City public website, New York City DOC. Mm-hmm. Do you have the directions to how you can get here by train and public transportation? All right, I'll probably take the bus. All right, thank and you what so time? Much. And um, excuse me, what yes, time sir. are the um? What time? The visiting is all day. I think it is wise to start at about eleven, at ten o'clock, because after then, you know, the the, the officers will, you know, roll call would have been done, uh, programs would have been done, but yes, but. The best time I, I think you, you should be there for, is for 10 o'clock. All right, so I'm going to get ready to go now. You've been very helpful, man. I pre ma'am, I appreciate it. But please, with no disrespect attended, I have to let you know I'm taping this conversation. I am going to upload it to YouTube. The person that I spoke to before you was not very helpful. You were, so you don't have to worry about me going after you as far as um, making sure that this person's rights are protected, but the person that was before you was not very helpful. Um, this conversation is oh, being taped. Because she's not trained to respond to those kind of questions. Understood. She yeah, she's not trained. Okay, whatever. Um, but she can put it through. Yeah. You have to understand, ma'am, that we do care about the people in our custody. We handle care, custody, and control, and we do care about the people in our custody, and we do care about the people, about people in public, you know, that actually, um, you know, it's, it's a general a humanitarian service that we pro provide. All right. So, um, you know, I appreciate your comment.
calling in. I appreciate you getting the information. Uh, like I said, you can access DOC, the New York City DOC, the public webpage, and you can get the directions to... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'll do that. And what I'll do when I come in, the, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The complaint that I sent to the United Nations, United Nations Office of the High Commission for Human Rights. I'll, I'll make sure that you all get a copy and I'll, I'll send you, I'll give you a link to the, I'll give you a link to the, uh, um, I'll give you a link to the site. I already have, you have a person here, her last name is, uh, Davida something. Um, she works for the commissioner. Um, I have her email. I'll be sending the information to her too. Really appreciate so your help, much, ma'am. Have a good have day. A good day. Bye.